this is another embarrassing email from Fuji coming up here. Um, the subject is 123X Sean 6 Kid Pack Waltman. He's already trying to be funny right there. Kazoo that. Every time he tries, he, he tries to make a joke that isn't funny, kazoo it. Because I want Joe to listen to the kazoos, okay? Because he thinks Fuji's right. funny. Yeah. Uh, yeehaw, everyone. So from, watching, yes, from <laughs> watching older Raws and Nitros on the network, the good old days, I've been reminded about how excellent X-Pac was in the ring. Before 2000, don't know what happened to him after that. Anyway, I was wondering if you guys, especially my good brother and soon-to-be podcast guest Conan. Never happening. Aren't you going to do this kazoo? Yeah. <laughs> have any good stories of working, pulling backstage pranks, or partying with him? And Disco, you better not hold back or else I come over there and may have to slap you around. I'm not on probation anymore and you're smaller than me. Just because you're this. He's, I mean, no. this, is not a, this is not the way that if, you, if, if Conan says I'm not doing your podcast, you're not funny and something, these emails are not doing you any, getting right. any sympathy from people that would disagree with that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like every week he's just like basically um, just showing. Yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, just trying to get himself over to adding not another funny wall. at all. What now? He keeps adding another brick to the wall every right, week. Exactly. Went that well. I don't agree. Um, with, just real quick, I don't agree that X Pac wasn't any good after 2000. I think X Pac could probably still go if you know if he's physically. Yeah. But I, I've always, I've never seen him give a bad performance. You hung out with him a lot more when you were in the NWO Coney, right? Uh, and in Mexico, we lived in the same house for a while. Right. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. I didn't know that. Listen to that. So at that time was Jack Evans. Okay. Mm-hmm. Me. Do you remember Moody or no? Do you remember who? Moody, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Moody, right? Yeah, Moody. Me. Uh, Teddy Hart. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Taya. And uh, Psychosis. We all lived in the same like house that they rented for the wrestlers. All right. And uh, so, you know, he's... A, don't, you remember he's a guy that that had put that um piece of shit in Hooventude suitcase that started that whole brawl in in Mexico. Remember? Oh, that was, X-Pac was the one that did that. Yeah. Interesting. So he had a lot. So so X-Pac had he with 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 at that with, time. Oh, he yeah. didn't like Hoovy. A lot yeah. of guys didn't like Hoovy back well, then, yeah. right? Everyone yeah. at that time, pretty much, right? Well, yeah. Well, basically, what had happened was is that at that time he was dating. You remember Ryan Shamrock? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He was dating her, <clears throat> and on some uh, radio interview or podcast, I don't think that podcast even existed back then, but like on some radio interview, they had asked him, uh, they didn't even ask him about X-Pac, and he brought up the fact that, you know, X-Pac was in drug rehab, right? And so the uh, the father of Ryan Shamrock's kid heard this. And I guess he went to a judge, and they took the kid away from her, all mm-hmm. right? And so fucking Pac was fucking furious, and he wanted to beat him up in the dressing room. I said, bro, don't do that because they're going to fire you. So then he put a piece of shit in his in his suitcase, and bro, Hoovy went ballistic. He was super mad. He thought I did it, okay? Mm-hmm. Then when he came over to, to uh, confront me about it, Jack Evans, who had mega heat with him, intercepted him and just beat the fuck out of him. Interesting. 